I, I don't think he's worth the grind. I personally think that this card is terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very, very happy to announce we have finally accured, we have finally pursued this card for a long time. It's my first season in my team, but we have finally got the 96 overall level 33 reward mark price. The pink diamond, the only pink diamond uh, that I've, I've really been truly searching for this uh, this season. Guys, we've finally got him. We'll go through his stats in a second and we'll jump into a triple threat online game. Here he is in all of his glory. 96 overall point guard shooting guard from the Cleveland Cavaliers, Mark Price. We have got a, uh, what, you've got a 99 offense, a 92 defense. He is six foot tall. That is the only downside to this card. He is six foot tall. A 92 driving layup, a 94 close shot, 95 mid range, 97 free throw, 97 three point. He doesn't have a driving dunk, all right? This is all news to me. I've, I've not looked at the stats. I've just purely just pulled him, and I'm looking at them now. 94 ball handle, 95 pass accuracy, 92 steal, 94 perimeter defense. He has a 94 speed, speed of ball, and acceleration. This card is fast, especially if you put a shoe on him. He has 19 Hall of Fame badges. Catch and shoot. You can look at all of them here. Giant Slayer, which is good. Quick first step. It's beautiful. Uh, he's also got got Hot Zone Hunter that's good for a, for a shooting uh, a shooting point guard. Very, very good badges here. We'll jump into a game online and see how we do with this 96 overall mark price. Alrighty, we are into a game here, guys. This guy's got Russell Westbrook. Uh, I can't really tell who, who else he's got here. I think it's uh, Walton as well there. We'll have a look at this mark price. We'll see his handles real quick. His jump shot, I, I kind of think, I mean, we did make it. But it seems kind of slow to me. I'm not going to lie. It seems kind of slow to me. We'll, we'll test it out. We'll play a bit of defense here and test it out. Jump shot a little bit more. All right, here we go again with this Mark Price. I don't know if I like, like, I don't know. This, this card's kind of weird. We're going with the layup. He does not have a driving dunk. So we have to, uh, we have to make keep that in mind. We won't get any uh, any uh, bailout dunk animations. We'll have to keep on doing our layups. All righty, Mark Price again here. He just seems slow. Like, compared, I don't know if it's compared to other cards that I've used in the past. But he does seem just kind of slow. I don't know what it is. But we'll try pull up again with his jump shot. His jump shot, it feels slow. I can green it, but it's just incredibly slow. I feel like like he does have hot shot. I don't know if he has blinders. I didn't actually check if he has blinders on Hoff or anything. But it, it just feels kind of slow. It feels like people could easily contest it. So we'll, we'll jump into another shot here. We'll play a bit of defense, and we'll see if we can improve. Alrighty, again here with the king himself, Mr. Mark Price. That's a pretty deep shot there. We still green it though, so this card does have pretty good range. It's just the jump shot, it feels a bit slow. Alright, we'll request the screen here from Boucher. We'll try cut back this way, this guy's already jumping. Uh, I'll, I'll try and make it so that it, you can't predict which way we're going. we we'll have to reset here. We'll try to get him open a little bit more here, test out the jump shot a bit further. We'll go back and forth. That's pretty deep. I don't know if we can green that. It's a very deep shot. I think he might have been a bit tired then. That's why we didn't get it. But th this, this card does appear to have quite a bit of range. All right, and again, we are losing a bit of stamina with this card. For some reason, my guys won't space correctly. We we'll test out. I don't know if he had blinders. It doesn't. Oh, 45%. I think from that first shot, we can almost guarantee that he has blinders there. This guy's still jumping. That's a pretty deep shot there. It's a very deep shot, and it appears it's too deep for him as we do miss that off the back of the room. All right, I'll test here this, this uh, Mark Price's dribble moves a bit more. He, he just kind of seems a bit stiff, you know? It, it's kind of weird coming from, like, playing with very, like, good opals to this this 96. I can't expect him to be too good. He is a pink diamond, but uh, he, he just feels... I don't know. I'll give him a proper review at the end of this episode, but he, he, he just feels a bit, uh, a, bit out of, a bit out of sorts. All right, we'll test out if he can curry slide. I don't think this card can curry slide. That's one thing that a lot of people like with their point guards is the ability to curry slide. We'll try it again one more time, but I'm pretty sure he can't curry slide. I'm pretty sure he has his own... Oh, hang on. Let's do it properly. 
this time. I'm pretty sure he, he had his own um, own thing here. Yeah, he doesn't have the courage slide, which is quite interesting. Got three seconds left. We'll have to chuck up any shot we can. A bit unlucky there. So that is maybe another thing that people have to take into consideration when going for this card. All right, Mark Price again here gets a bit of room from the perimeter, and he can't knock it down. I'm really struggling to shoot with this card. He's got such a, such a slow jump shot. I don't know what it is. We'll try again. That's actually pretty heavily content. Okay, and we make that one. So we can't make a wide open, but we do end up making that one instead. So he appears he does have blinders, but he just can't make these standstill open shots. All right, we've got 18 of our 21 points here. This guy's playing pretty far up at the moment. He is jumping there. That's good. The deep. Oh, I thought that was a deep two. He's actually gone for a three, and we happened to early it, so not a green there. And unfortunately, we can't cap off the game right there. This guy is now double teaming this Mark Price. Uh, okay, I'm just going to... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to make this guy lose. He's double teaming my Mark Price. It's going to be pretty hard to get a jump shot off with uh, with how slow it is. So unfortunately, we don't. Uh, we're not going to be able to score... 21 and we ended up losing the game to this guy as well good work to that guy he is a very good player um we'll quickly jump back to the to the main menu have a look at this card and i'll give you guys my final review on it Alrighty guys, after my first game here with this Mark Price, I've, I've played around a little bit with him in the freelance, and unfortunately, I I don't think he's worth the grind. I personally think that this card is terrible. Like, you may like him in some sense. He's six foot, he can't really play defense. He does have clamps. Alright, he does have, uh, down here, he does have, um, gold clamps. So he doesn't have Hoff clamps, and he's only six foot tall. Now, as you guys can see in that video, until you actually use him, you can't really get a good feel of him. But I don't like his jump shot at all. It, it is too slow this year to be a point guard and be able to... Uh, he does have that blinders, but in order to be able to shoot this year, you need to have a, a fast jump shot, especially five outing if you're currying behind the back, which you can't do either. You can't go... You, it, the jump shot just feels slow. It feels, it feels clanky. It doesn't feel right. For me... Although I am going to Aldridge, uh, sorry, I, although I am going to, to um, the, the top level David Robinson, this card, a lot, I know a lot of people are just going to get this card, and I don't think he's worth it. it he just, he doesn't feel, he doesn't feel right. He, I don't know, for me, I'm not going to grind for him. Luckily enough, I've got better point guards. I've got my Don All, I've got my Fred Brown. Uh, but for now, if you're going for this card, don't waste money. Don't go buy packs to get XP to get this card. It's not worth it at all. Okay, that's my final review on it. It's probably been my first time in any of these videos I've had a negative view, a review on any of my cards. Um, but for I'm not going to put this card in my lineup. He's, he's, for me, he's pretty crap. I, I'm sorry, he, he's a bad card. I don't like him. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, go, go for him if you want. If you're a Mark Christ fan, if you're a Cavs fan, 100% go for him. But for me personally, he would not be making any of my lineups. Um, but guys, thank you for watching this video. Even though it was a negative review, I still appreciate you guys watching and taking the time every day to watch this video. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter and Twitch, you can. The links are in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.